as you can see, the doctor is in. Dr. Travis Stork is with us today. Thank you all. Uh, and uh, we have a giant heart in the middle of our studio. It's kind of hard to miss. So today's show literally has got heart because we are having, thanks to our friends from the American Red Cross, our first annual blood drive. <laughs> Not only are the American Red Cross members here and working on our staffers back here, but can we just talk about how cool her hair is? <laughs> Best Red Cross hair ever. Uh, anyway, um, today we want to inspire our audience to leave us and go out in the street and give blood. We have their amazing mobile unit outside all set up, um, and we've got staffers donating right this minute. I think Tommy's done. His timer just went off. Um, and Dr. Travis is going to um, take Tommy's spot uh, at the end of the segment. But basically, we're doing this because I did not know this until today. Giving blood is a seasonal need, like this time of year especially, we're low on blood, right? Well, and, and people don't think about this, but what happens during the winter? A lot of blood, blood, blood drives have to get canceled. People can't make it because of weather, or maybe they're sick. So this is a time of year where people really need to think about it, because think about this. Every two seconds, someone needs blood. That's amazing. And I mean, it's frightening, really. It gave me a little bit of a chill when you said that, yeah. Well, and the other thing that people don't think about is one pint of blood, you can save someone's life. But then there are scenarios, I see it in the ER a lot, where if someone's in a car accident and they're bleeding internally, you may have to give them 100 pints of blood to help them Whoa, survive. Whoa, seriously? Up to 100 pints of blood. And, and the truth is, think about that. That takes 100 people donating a pint of blood right, to save a life. But you're only allowed to give one pint when you donate, right? But people can donate every 56 days. Okay, let's and, recover months. And like I said, this is one of the things, you don't have to be a doctor to save someone's life. So this is the time of year, if you haven't given blood in a while, now's the time to do it. Now what's the procedure? How much time does it take to give blood? I know that there's, there's the questionnaire and everything. How, how long do you need to commit if you're going to donate blood for the process? Well, as you two can attest, it happens really quickly. Once you actually sit in the chair, you can give blood. It happens within five, 10 minutes. But it's a very simple questionnaire. And you go Simple through a list. Simple questionnaire, they take your blood pressure, right? Take then... your blood pressure, take your pulse, just make sure you have no contraindications. And it really is a simple procedure. Just show up hydrated. Mm -hmm. and, That's and, important, and make right? Sure you have to drink food. a lot of water.